what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to what's up youtube hope you guys are feeling good to the guys we're back here to new video guys me and my beautiful guest hey 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 i'm vix bsc and i'm going to bring you guys today so stay tuned for this amazing reaction so guys today we're going to be reacting to man owns woke woman using her logic okay you know how it is guys i would love to check this out I see how it turns out to be. What's up, pleasure right now? We ask more. Let's get into this video. I believe that he's gay. That's how he identifies. How do you identify? Actually, I identify as. Uh, oh, here we go. It's that long plethora of. What? Oh my God. Wait for it. I will. Let me get a chair. <laughs> <laughs> that lady's a savage. Do you know what the leading cause of death for pregnant people is? Pregnant people. Mm -hmm. Mothers? If you'd like to call them mothers, not all of them are mothers. What are they if they're not mothers? They're pregnant people. What people other than mothers are pregnant? It's interesting because <laughs> you come into this conversation, you know, trying to hold this moral superiority. But when I use inclusive language, which it only takes a couple extra syllables to use inclusive language. To include and who? it seems to include people who don't, you know, identify as women but can become pregnant. And in order to be a moral person, I need to accept the idea that a man can really become a woman. You are trying to deny someone of their identity and deny what they're their life experiences, and that doesn't seem like a moral stance to me. I identify as being correct, and more correct than you on this issue, and I would just ask that you accept and affirm my uh, identity. Do you? You are not a medical professional, and abortion and pregnancy no, is a medical concern. That's not your identity. I it's promise just, you that's my identity. <laughs> Guys, this is how you got to do it. If you bring logic and facts, they're going to run away or they're going to crumble. They have no argument. All you need to do is identify as right. We see this woman, she's also a feminist. Think about how ironic this really is. She probably complains that women earn less than men because of the patriarchy, but at the same time, she doesn't even know what a woman is. She can't describe or define what a woman is. So you could just be like, okay, well, all these high earning men don't assume their genders. You don't know if they're men or women. Therefore, this whole wage gap is non-existent. Should trans women be included in feminist conversations? How about in women's spaces? Yes, they're women. What's the question? Well, trans women are women. Hell no, no, no. I refuse, no. So I, I want to come at this from the um, position of an athlete. So I play semi-pro basketball, semi-pro volleyball. So when it comes to like athletic spaces, I don't think that trans women should be allowed into athletic spaces. Again, we work very hard for the little opportunity there is in the space because we're not as entertaining as the men. Sorry, we're just not. And so it's like you're going to take the little opportunity that we're given. And the problem is it, we can't compete. We can't, like I, I'm six foot, if I go up against a six foot guy and I play basketball with him, he's gonna body me. Even if I have years more of training. And so it's like, you're taking away the little opportunity that we are given and we all work so hard for, and you're just giving it back to biological guys. It's like, this will be the end of women's sports. Have Eli, you tried confidence? Uh, Eli, hold on Minnie. <laughs> Sorry, Eli. confidence can't make me bench what a guy benches. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Have you tried confidence? Have you tried a salad? But let's be real about this, yeah? These people are so delusional. But what has confidence got to do with it? If you're a 250 pound man going up against a 120 pound female, I don't care how confident she thinks she is. She's never gonna win. It's like me going up against a gorilla and I get completely ragdolled and then the woman's like, well, have you tried confidence? Like, Shut up. Travis Allen, he was a girls soccer coach at Randolph Union Middle School in Vermont. He was just suspended from his job without pay because he complained about a male student looming around the girls' locker room. Then the school punished Travis Allen's daughter, Blake Allen, for speaking about it too. Too. Travis, you complained about a man in the women's locker room and you were punished? Correct. I made a social media post that referred to the male student as a male and I was punished because I misgendered him. Blake Allen, what did you do wrong in the eyes of the school and how were you punished? I was in the locker room and the trans student walked in. The rest of the team was in there. I was really uncomfortable and I left and I told the school and they just shut me down and said there's nothing they could do and I was later suspended. How old were you when this happened? 
I'm 14, I'm a freshman. And when you complained about a dude in the girls' locker room, you got suspended. Yes. Hi, I'm Nicole, and my pronouns are she, they, z. Ah, oh, sh**. Here we go again. And I am gender fluid. But of course you are. But I'm the type of gender fluid who never goes fully into man. Everybody knows you never go full man. Maybe I'll go fully into woman, but I'll never go fully into man. But I will go into mask. What? What a hell is so that? So when I'm feeling, you know, feminine, my pronouns are she, her. When I'm feeling a little less uh, feminine, but still feminine, it's going to be she, they. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, I am Zezer. That's not a real thing. That is because to me personally, and this isn't kosher, this isn't orthodox, I personally view Zizem to be somewhat masculine? 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 Like he, him, except you put a little Z because, you know, it's a little, little different. So like you say, like, he's over there, just say Z's over there. So as I wake up on this lazy Sunday afternoon, my pronouns today are Zezer. It's as simple as that. Oh, guys, honestly. Check this out. He wouldn't know masculine if it kicked him in the balls. I will not participate in your psychosis. It's just getting so ridiculous. Imagine in the workplace. This is how I know these people don't have jobs. It's not realistic, is it? In the workplace or any environment. Like, what do you mean? Like, why am I going to have to remember like a hundred different pronouns for different people? And if you misgender one of them, then you can go to prison. Like, no, we're not going to live that life. At this point, there's going to be more pronouns than there are names. We have a new superstar, the Canada midfielder, Quinn. It's the first transgender non-binary footballer to play in the Women's World Cup. Hang on a second, hang on. Is she, is she a part, is she, they, whatever, is she a biological male? Tra no, no, it turns out she's a biological not, female. Not she, so. So what is she? They, they. she, is a transgender non-binary. Mm -hmm. What is that? How can you be transgender Quinn? and non-binary? Because that's what they are. I just want to get my head around this. If you're no longer identifying as a woman, what are you doing playing in the Women's World Cup? She doesn't qualify. They... They don't qualify, even though there's only one of them. They don't qualify for the Women's World Cup because they used to be a woman, but now they don't want to be a woman. So now we have to call them they for being a transgender, even though they're non-binary, and they're still playing in the Women's World Cup, and we're all supposed to go, well done, Quinn, what a moment! What a moment! But no one's quite sure, no one's quite sure what we're celebrating. Total free world. We're... We're advocates of not mistreating little children to death. Oh, them kids. That's what we, that's the, that's the position that we oppose, the F them kids position. Third time I've heard it today. Yeah. What's that? Them kids. F them kids. We do think that that's what it's about. We think that the reason people like yourself like abortion is because you hate kids and because you hate God who created those kids and made them in his image. I think murder's pretty cool. Murder's cool? Gender dysphoria of the type that you described is relatively rare, but if you leave kids alone till they're 19 or 18, 80 to 90% of them settle into their biological identity. Although about 80% of them are also homosexual in their orientation. The pathway for him, before this was all politicized, was you'd have a child who was gender non-conforming temperamentally, somewhat like you were. You didn't have a pattern of female interests and then prone to depression and anxiety. And then that combination would produce this gender dysphoria and that would become quite intense around the dawn of puberty. But if you just backed the hell off and waited, those kids would settle into their body, but generally adopt a homosexual orientation. Gender dysphoria of the type that you described is relatively rare, but if you leave kids alone till they're 19 or 18, 80 to 90% of them settle into their biological identity. Although about 80% of them are also homosexual in their orientation. The pathway for him, before this was all politicized, was you'd have a child who was gender non-conforming temperamentally, somewhat like you were, you didn't have a pattern of female interests, and then prone to depression and anxiety, and then that combination would produce this gender dysphoria, and that would become quite intense around the dawn of puberty. But if you just backed the hell off and waited, those kids would settle into their body, but generally adopt a homosexual orientation. Yeah, so it's been known since the beginning of time that kids are incapable of making rational decisions. That's why they can't get tattoos or get a driving license and all the rest of it. But now they're allowed to transition at a young age. And if you notice, whenever you see the parents of these kids, they're actually really weird themselves. 
and it's quite obvious they've probably just pushed their ideology onto the kids and now the government in some states is saying oh yeah you, you can transition when the kids clearly been brainwashed and you're going to let them do irreversible damage like it's insane it really is about the schools our kids they sleep eight hours right they wake up morning they go to the school they spend there like eight nine hours and we don't know with who they spend time maybe these teachers you this don't even know what they're thinking what they have on their mind and you let them to give education to your kids it's very dangerous if you not agree with this these teachers on your life position but you let them teach your kids and when they become 16 you want them become like you this is don't work you have to control who teach your kids and a lot of people miss this a lot of crazy people they're working in school too and they give education to your kids but if you talk one and one with them you're not gonna spend with them even five minutes but they spend with your kids eight hours every day it's like very dangerous thing yeah. you have to control this spoke fat that's totally true this is amazing <laughs> I love um, Peter saying ways where he was saying like some people at a young age probably because they stay around like if he may stay around guys are the brothers are guys they tend to get some treats like being masculine and stuff but when they are getting to like 18, 19 you start seeing that they want to go back to the feminine aspect of who they really are together so sometimes you have to allow them get to age before you make a decision for them ahead of time because when they get to that specific age where they realize like i like being a male but why did you turn me to a female when he or she okay when um <laughs> this guy said people are really confusing me when he was what did i say just now <laughs> pardon me i'm really sorry uh but what i'm trying to say is that if someone is a male don't turn him to a female before he, he or, before he's 18 or 19 you should allow the person be who he is so he's old enough to make a um, reasonable decision for he or she uh, we have to be very very careful who we allow spend time with our children because it's very very important especially like what habib said people who teach your children people who are around the children eight hours six hours a day you have to be very careful you have to watch them and know if they are the right people who are, ought to stay around the children because their mentality would definitely affect the kids so would well, they also the ideology let me use the word like that will also affect the kids so it's very very important you pay attention to who your kids hang around with if your kids hang around with people who are delusional people who believe in this transgender power transgender things you should make sure you cut them away because with time give them a few months though you're killed to start acting in such manner start believing like um transgender this is supposed to be dad i want to turn to get get that i want to turn to a man get that kind of stuff so you have to be very mindful of who your kids spend time with this is an amazing video i just watched right now what do you think I actually love what Peter Sin and Habib said, like, especially you spending time with your kids, like, be careful of who spend time with your kids, rather. And most kids have phones, iPads, and all of that. Be careful of what they watch, also, because that's, that also contributes to whatever that's actually happening in the world right now. Be careful of who spend time with your kids, and also be careful of... Um, what they watch this is one of the reasons why people don't allow their kids if you watch now most people don't some persons don't really allow their kids to go to public schools and even if they are to go to public school they do a lot of investigation like they do a lot of investigation investigation to know how the school is like and how the teachers are like because it's quite important like it's very very important just do all of this and it's very helpful trust me yeah you're going to private teach your kids. <laughs> teach them how to speak. <laughs> That's even possible. Because this is how generation is getting way, way serious. People are getting more delusional every day. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video with as many as you can. Subscribe to YouTube channel, guys. Know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808.
that don't don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales.